I have arrived. I am here. And I am certainly not five minutes late. My own stream once again. <clears throat> okay. Switch over this. I should probably check my audio levels as usual. Although it's almost always the same, so I don't know what I've I've changed a couple of things. What I've I've changed a couple of things. What I've I've changed. I can't really tell. It's impossible to tell, honestly. <laughs> That's like in game and something's attacking me, maybe. Game and something's attacking me, maybe. I just want it to be like the same audio that I'm hearing. <laughs> I suppose. And like 90% of the time, I'm mumbling anyway. So it's hard to really balance that audio without watching the waveforms the whole time. But I reduced the, uh, the waveform limiter, or increased it, so that it, <laughs> the game can't go above a certain volume level. Okay. What was I doing? All right, the door is locked. I can't do anything in there right now. I need to go check the hardware lab, among other things. Life support leads directly to the elevator, which leads to the lobby. And from the lobby, I can get to hardware from there. So let's do that first. Because I want to repair that thing and check out that satellite. Why'd that scare me so much? Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Full Psi energy. Thank you. It says it goes to the lobby, but I don't think that's entirely true. Unless the lobby also counts all the, <laughs> the floors that I have to go between. Which I suppose makes sense. Why did my elevator change locations? I don't like that I can't pull out my gun when I'm in this elevator, because it's supposed to be like a safe zone, but they did jump scare me once with an enemy. And there are enemies out here, for instance, just waiting for me to appear. Two telepaths, huh? Probably won't be that hard to deal with, but... Research. It's certainly not going to be easy. Okay, give me a save. Get my Psycho Shock ready. Hmm. It didn't get alerted to me for some reason. <laughs> okay, well... You're not going to run for it, I'm just going to blast you from a distance. That's not what I meant to do. I don't want the cup, I want the telepath thing, the, the psycho shock. What's my inventory looking like? Uh, I'll need to drop by my office, it looks like. you with that so you can't do anything evening, try to hit you so you can't Alert escape security chief Ms. Alizar, to protect your co-workers privacy security terminals are there you go <laughs> those are really easy to deal with when they can't cast magic at you probably not authorized where did the body go did it fall down here there it is 
Nice. Oh, I need to go out into space, too. I keep forgetting that I have to go out there. But I haven't been out in space since, like, the beginning of the game when I couldn't kill anything out there. Come on, give me another drink. There we go. That's not quite full, but whatever. It's close enough. Uh, it got dark. What happened? Something's covering the sun, I guess. Was it really just the two telepaths hanging out? No mimics or phantoms? No nightmare waiting for me? Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. I need deals. Looks like you've had a rough day. This won't take long. All done. Thank Don't you. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. I still don't know how I'm meant to turn this on. Is there like a vent somewhere that I'm not aware of? Is there like an electrical system <laughs> indication around here? Just Hello. fire. Are you here? An appointment? And there's this, which I can now open. And a dead person's inside of it. Great. I don't want mine, Jack. I want Psychoshock. Beth, I know. You know? Hmm. Ooh, Neuromod. Hell yeah. Only one, though. Kind of a shame, but... Oh well, I suppose that's more than nothing at all. Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for, like, a... Uh, a power on-off switch in here. A breaker. Junction box, something. Are you here for an appointment? Just have a quick look around again now that I've got all the key cards necessary to open all the doors here. This guy free now? Sure is. What was that noise? I don't love the uh, the eerie music playing in a safe zone. <laughs> Well, I say safe zone. In a zone that I have made safe. But I guess I'm not supposed to know for sure that it's safe. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just uh, go about my business. There are two people I haven't found here. Unknown location. Do I get an indication on here when I mark that? No. So she doesn't exist anywhere around here. Alejandro Mata is in, is in the Arboretum. I've been everywhere in the Arboretum. I didn't see that person anywhere. I imagine I'll have to go there eventually anyway, so I'll just leave that mark for now. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Hmm. Hello, January. I still haven't found the key card you wanted me to find. I thought I did at one point, but turns out I was wrong. Uh, yeah, go ahead and split some of these off and trash them. Glue cannon unupgraded. I don't really need this much food. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Um, but I'm not using that inventory space for anything else, so I guess I'll just keep it anyway. Is that all good? Looks like it. Uh, 
I wasn't expecting the um, the Typhon to respawn in the game, so I was really worried about the uh, lack of exotic material, because I figured it was a finite resource. But I'm pleased it's not. Because I haven't been particularly um, reserved about using it constantly. Metal is my current bottleneck. Or minerals, I guess. My pistol and shotgun are the only things I actually use, so... I guess I'm able to... sort of manage. If I had to <laughs> replace all my ammunition for every weapon, it might be a bit more of an issue. But even the glue cannon I barely bother using most of the time. Yeah, I can get one more. Let's do it. I'll need to start chucking grenades more, too. Neuro mods. What do I got? I can get more Psy. That'd be great. Uh, wrench damage isn't that useful to me right now. Upgrade lab weapons. That might be more useful than anything else. Oh, actually, you know what? More damage with weapons. The weapons I'm currently using. Actually. What is that? Sneak attack? Uh, that might be pretty good. What about these? Should I bother getting a better version of Psy Shock? That one seems like a useful one. I don't really have a reason to ever upgrade that. Backlash seems kind of cool, but I don't really get hit that often, and when I do, it's either death or it's irrelevant. Ether Absorption's pretty cool. I'll never use this. I haven't used Kinetic Blast at all since I got it. Absorb Fire is pretty cool. This I've been using a lot. Maybe I should get this. Increases damage and range. And lets me set down three at a time instead of just two. Pretty good. Never used the Lift Field. I'm curious about that. But no, I think I'll go with the weapon damage. I use the Psy Powers a lot, but that weapon damage can't go wrong there. Is that a cyst? Is that a phantom? I'm leaning forward, so I'm not in front of my mic. Um, I'm curious. I'm going to go over there and check. That might be a weaver. It's a cyst. prepared beforehand. There's more over there. I thought the uh, weavers were the ones to spawn the cystoid nests, but they just keep on keeping on. Oh, that's not a nest. That's just a plant. Okay. Sales division? I've been there before. I don't need to go back in there. Nothing in there for me. This glass is paired itself, but apparently not, really. <laughs> okay, where do I need to go? I guess up there. So I have to run all the way around <laughs> to get back up there. And then when I'm in the hardware lab, I can leave to go out into space, and I know there's a level 4 hack chest. I said chest, like a locker. A level 4 hack locker that I haven't had access to yet. Is there any reason to, like, fix this? I mean, it only takes four parts. May as well. I have no use for it. It's so close to the all, all the, like, the other ones that I have. Okay, now I gotta be careful in here, because I know there's gonna be...
a bunch of enemies. Oh, it scared me. Nothing even happened. I guess I was like looking for a poltergeist and then the phantom was just there so it made me jump. Can I get... <laughs> the water cooler gives me uh, Psy energy as well. Hmm. Okay. Where was that phantom's body? Give me, give me, give me. Those tasty Typhon organs. Why bother making such, like, comfortable paneling on all these walls? Make wooden floors, carpets, like, make it all sort of reminiscent of, like, earthside, like, buildings, I guess. And then just leave the top open to, to expose all the piping and the insulation and the girders. Like, why go through all the trouble to, like, try to make it like, pleasant and homey. And then just leave that glaring, like, <laughs> juxtaposition in, in your field of view. Oh, I haven't hacked any of the turrets around here, so hopefully they're all busted right now. Hmm. So those are mineral chunks, a cigar, banana, gloves, eels. So I don't have a reason to break this, unless there's like a key card hidden inside of it somewhere. Already read all that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. My shock power, please. Apparently there's more downstairs, so I'll just deal with them as well. In the same fashion, provided it regenerates fast enough. Ugh. Or I'll just make them fight each other. There is. Why don't you, why don't you come over here? Alright. It's to stand off between an elevator shaft. <laughs> Maybe I ought to make an effort to avoid the, uh, the red things. Although, most of the time, it really doesn't make a difference. I can always get there with several seconds remaining. Alright, so I got two little drone allies. There's an etheric phantom in there. Which, again, isn't much of a threat. Now that I know how to deal with things. Oh, now that I have magic space powers. Does uh, sneak attacks count for psychic powers? Well, if it does, I have no idea. But I thought I had Psy Shock on, and I did not. Hmm. Well, it didn't, didn't go badly, so... Oh well. Just drink some water and get all my Psy energy back. Should be fine. Love that psychedelic water. It does go on for a long time. Anything to look at out here? No. 
Nope, nothing at all. Okay, so this is what I came for, to repair this thing so that I can open that door. Okay, and I found a satellite communication device now, I guess. Radiation shielding sounds cool. What? What am I missing here? Death from above thermal shielding? Did that get taken off again? No, I just have more than one thermal shielding, I guess. That's it. Can I get rid of these? <laughs> like, I keep reinstalling the wrong ones. Uh, wrench swings? No. Okay, let me let me undo all of these and then just put them in the order I've got them from the bottom or something. Okay, what do I want most? I need to get... I want radiation, thermal, EMP, physical, all in. Reduces damage from crashing in zero G. It doesn't happen often enough to matter. Increased speed seems useful. Sneaking speed is useful. Reduce damage while sliding. I don't slide very often, but I would like to have the option if I'm in danger. And I guess the last one I want to slot is probably going to be... And I feel like if I use this, I'm going to do it on like my allies back, so I'm just going to like drop on like a human's head and kill them instantly. So I don't want to do that one. Also, I'd rather not be too close to the things that can kill me quickly. So maybe this one, just so I don't kill myself accidentally when I'm floating around in zero-g. Okay. Cool, now I have basic resistances to everything, which is lovely. Well, I say basic, I have quite a lot of resistances to everything. How quickly does this go up now? That's still pretty fast, but eh, I guess not nearly as fast as it was. So I didn't actually have a reason to pull this out at all, <laughs> aside from just getting the thing on it. Why did I need that? Mixed signals, that's what it was. Place the device on the satellite in the exterior. A satellite orbiting Talos-1 has damaged communications array. If the device is replaced, the satellite could be used to send psychotronic signals that will help me evade the Typhon Nightmare organism. I just have to find a replacement part somewhere. I don't actually mind the Nightmare, but I will do it just to get it out of my quest log. The Nightmare is not such a threat that I actually care to get rid of it. Oh, let me repair my suit, actually. Inspecting. Your suit's leaking. I'll match that for you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go out to the exterior. I'm just gonna float around out here for about 10-15 minutes. <laughs> Doing absolutely nothing of use, except just locating dead bodies floating around and maybe finding some aliens. Microgravity detected. Oh right, there was a chest out here. That's part of the reason I came down there to begin with. Is I wanted to get that uh, thing up there. Maybe I should move the human corpses that I have found. Because it says I found them, obviously. But I keep looking at those green dots and thinking I need to go up there and check. Where is the... There it is. There's the locker. Oh, it's my level 3. I thought it was level 4. Level 4 is easier than level 3. But with more than 10 seconds left, I guess it doesn't really matter. Eh, two Neuromods. It's something... I would have preferred more, but I suppose with a level 3 chest, I can't ask for that much. Anything through here? No? Alright. Did I miss anything? There is there's another repair kit or whatever right there. 
grab that before I head out. Somewhere inside there was a um a technopath. <laughs> There's a technopath like holding a door shut from the exterior. I need to find that location too. The psychotronics airlock is locked? That doesn't seem right. I've been to the psychotronics lab. I've done everything there. How did I forget to open the airlock? Or did I like unlock it and then didn't leave so it didn't count maybe? Power plant airlock is locked. Hmm. Arboretum airlock. I know there's a dead body around somewhere. There it is, human corpse. I want to go to that. I think there was a telepath outside the station last time I came through and I couldn't do anything to it. But now I know how to deal with things. Provided I don't, you know, get caught off guard. There's a Technopath. Uh, do I have an EMP? Probably not. I can, um, I can use Shock. It won't disable its powers, though. Psycho Shock might. This might just disable it. I got zapped. Oh, no, I didn't. I, well, I think I took damage, so I must have gotten hit. There you go. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm not off cooldown yet. Oh, that didn't do any damage to me for some reason. Oh, assists. Okay, don't fling your parts everywhere. I still need to loot you. Inconsiderate. Okay, where are those? Uh, they're on them. They're on the way to me. I, um, does this count as an object? No. Maybe I could hit him with a shotgun, because it's wide. No, not really. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I might just be able to shock them or something. Oh, of course, if I don't target them properly, it won't work. There you go. All right. Where's that corpse? Up there. Ooh, it's inside, huh? Cool. That probably means that there's a uh, arcing electricity or something in here. I don't see any, which doesn't bode well. They're just flickering lights doing that? Q-beam, nice. I don't know why you have that out here. Mariana Arias. I can't find that open airlock. I think there's something following me. It's... I keep hearing it. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just in my head. Ay, Mateo. David, I love you both. Mom, I'm sorry. I know you were just trying to protect me. I love you so much. Dios santo. Hmm, that's sad. Can't escape me in the vacuum. Alright, where's the other one? Hey, stop it. <laughs> I 
I guess being resistant to electricity means I don't get stunned by my own powers anymore. I probably should make an effort to read those <laughs> upgrades I slotted earlier. Alright, so what exactly is going on in here, and why am I able to access it? There's a control panel there, with an ominous red light above it. There's a control panel there. Is that the one I entered through? No. Where's the one I entered through? I shouldn't have flipped myself upside down, because now I'm lost. Okay. This might just be like a shortcut for getting around to the other side of the station easier and faster than if I had flown all the way around. Um... Where... Okay, that's the way back. I don't want to go that way. Nothing there. I don't... There might be something over here in this crevice. Hidden away from prying eyes. No, there's nothing. And then this is just the, uh... Uh... Place I came from? No. I came from over there, I guess. Where's this? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go... F well, I guess I found her corpse, so I guess I could find somebody else's corpse. Hardware Labs, Hull Breach, that's the way I came from. So, is that not the airlock I opened? Or the maintenance hatch? Or is it I opened this one over here? This is the one I opened. Okay, here we go. I figured out where I am now. A neuromod, sweet. Why is that out here? <laughs> Wish I had an access to a uh, security terminal so I could just locate the dead bodies from a long way away. Instead of having to float out and find them manually. Where is the cystoid nest creating you? You're already kind of annoying to deal with. Blasting you one at a time. If I can get, like, an angle to do this... Might work, but I don't know how far away they are. It's difficult to tell distances in space. I hit one of them. I guess I hit all of them, they just didn't do enough damage. Okay. So now I think I am traveling up the station, and I got turned around again. That would mean the Arboretum is the way I'm going now, I think. Unless that's the lobby and the Arboretum is that way. Shuttle bay, exterior satellite. I guess I can go to that and get rid of the nightmare. Although I really don't mind the nightmares, I don't know if I really want to do that. It's a good, good way to get some extra exotic materials. That's that. Nice work. This should get the attention of that Typhon nightmare that's hunting you. I'm sending you two activation signals. The first will direct the Typhon away from you. The second will bring it down on you. Use your transcribed messaging system to fire them off. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, I guess that I probably shouldn't press the button to the transcribe you just gave me. 
<laughs> I already used one of them, apparently. Whoops. What is that way out there? Is that something I can actually go to? I'm really curious. Oh, is that a weaver? I think that's a weaver. What's a weaver doing way out here? Oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, it's dead now. How did I run out of bullets? I, I just made a bunch of pistol ammo. Also, where's that ship that I just passed? There it is. Ooh, there's a bunch of human corpses there. It's being... Oh, I guess the weaver must have, like, bound the ship so I couldn't move. Also ripped off the door panel, I guess. It's really eerie. Hunter Hail. Because I gotta wait. Until it pulls up that audio log. So I can listen to it. Oh, really? You're not gonna pull it up? Alright, I'll do it myself. Captain Hale, shuttle exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge. Getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? I <laughs> just keep calling the nightmare to myself because it keeps giving me the new thing notification. Uh, excerpt from Book 5 of the Starbender Cycle. Trevor, get up. Trevor lifted his head to find the source of the voice. His brain was foggy and he hadn't heard his old name in what felt like ages. Here he was Kaoli. And the diminutive cliff dwellers of Dranthor called him King. Rolling out of his royal cot, he allowed his eyes to focus on the figure silhouetted in the doorway to his royal cave. He knew that uniform, he knew that stance, and disapproving glare. Empress Tourmaline, how did you find me here? The subdermal vacuum adapt adapt adapteron <laughs> we had you install came with a beacon. I tracked it in, uh, here, and after beating Mercy to death and taking back the prism, I still need a crack pilot I can trust. Assuming you're... Through playing royalty, I need to put on my better glasses. <laughs> Assuming you're, done, you're through playing royalty with these timid rock humpers, that is, Trevor untangled the tumbleweed crown from his matted hair and reflected on his responsibilities to his meek and be threatened followers. Just one thing before I go, Trevor picked up his ceremonial chihuahua stick and strode out into the light. Hello, Bert. How you going? I found a space station or spaceship. <laughs> If it's full of dead people. I don't want to force that open. I can just repair this. Full of volunteers, it looks like. he had the plans for a Typhon lure. There's no way he knew what a Typhon was, surely. Hmm. 
Anyway, I went out and um, repaired the satellite that lets me scare away or attract the nightmare. I don't know if I'll ever use it. The nightmare's not enough of a threat to me, really, <laughs> to bother scaring it off, and I don't really need um, any uh, exotic materials right now to bother calling it. Nice weapon upgrade kit. Love to see it. Although somehow I'm running out of pistol ammo faster than ever. Got one bullet left. I guess I'll go to the Arboretum again. <laughs> My favorite place to be, because there's apparently a corpse there I haven't found yet. Wait, wasn't there, um... There was something... out here somewhere that I needed to hack. Oops. Well, luckily there's no inertia. Well, that's not actually lucky, is it? Well, it's a good thing I wasn't aiming at a planet, I suppose. What is this? It's an escape pod. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Of course I'm out of bullets. Um, this will kill them in one shot. That should kill them in one shot as well. I wish I knew how far away they were, so this was easier to aim. There. It didn't kill all of them. <laughs> uh... There. Am I gonna kill somebody by venting this? No, okay, good. <laughs> there was no oxygen in here to begin with. Ooh, look at all that food. It's all for the scrap heap. Is that all that was in here? <laughs> Just a bunch of food? Alright then. Kind of hoping to find some uh, some more neuromods or corpses or something, you know. But whatever. I don't know if I'm hoping to find more corpses. That feels a bit grim, but hoping to find something exciting, anyhow. Crew quarters breach. Oh, that's where the um. The Technopath was, I think, that I was trying to find earlier. There's a cystoid nest in here. Sure is. Yep. It's a 
another one, I guess. Somewhere. I suppose they'll probably end up being through that door. I'll just uh, unload on you until you're dead, because you can't do anything with me. Why am I being shot by a turret right now? Oh, right, because the turrets are my enemies. Not, not they're not, ne they don't necessarily have to be under control of an enemy to still be my enemy. God, it's only a level 2 hack. The hardest hack. Oh, I pressed Z. It's fine. It's fine. I'm so used to the level 3 hacks that I have to do all the time. So doing a level 2 hack is a little bit more complicated because it's a lot faster. Alright, well... Ideally, once that uh, does, loses its brain control, it won't attack me. Okay, let me get rid of this thing with my cheapest spell. Psychoshock, I guess, is technically my cheapest offensive spell. Is that going to work? Ah, uh, why? I guess I heard it talking. I should have known it was corrupted. I was hoping it was just a regular medical operator. <laughs> if I can give myself a heal. Here we go. You're on my side now. If only you would heal me. Also, bleeding in space, does sprinting, in, like, well, does boosting in space count as sprinting is what I meant to ask, but it doesn't seem to. Is there nothing in here? Just an empty room in a vacuum with nothing to loot. It's a bit disappointing. Eh. Where is the cyst? There it is. Don't come to me. I threw something specifically so that you would not come at me. Okay. I, I, I think that's all of them. Uh, what else we got here? This is just a cabinet with a chipset. What kind of chipset? It's the one that gives you a chance to do side powers for free. You're not allowed to put multiple chipsets in, so... As lovely as it would be to get a higher chance, it is impossible. A tragedy, really. So this is where I was remembering that uh, the techno path was hanging out, looking through this door. <laughs> I guess I could probably eat some food. <laughs> I've got low enough health. I may as well. Cubeam cell fabrication. Don't need that, but eh. Ooh, yeah, pistol bullets, nice. Now I can at least defend myself with something other than the shotgun, which isn't great. 
in the infinite vastness of space. These are my, my parents' room, I guess. I didn't look at any of the other nameplates. What am I supposed to do with these? There's a lot of, um... monitors and rooms that don't have power, but I can't find any, like, junction boxes or anything to turn the power on in them. I mean, this one's clearly in a bad place. It's not... It's, the power's not working here because it's, there's a massive breach and they've, you know, cut off the, the power to the area, but... Still kind of disappointed that I can't, uh, well, and maybe I, maybe I can shock it to activate it, because that does work to disable keypads briefly, but that's, yeah, it just didn't work. Workstation. Okay, well, maybe at some point in the future I'll try to remember that this place exists if they allow me to somehow re enable power to exterior areas. I suppose technically I could just like patch up the hole, right? I know it's 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 vitreophobic, so it won't stick to glass. Typhic material inconclusive. Blocking calibration request. So never mind. That plan is immediately gone. Hmm. What else interesting is there out here in space before I head back to him? actual, like, air, like, place I need to be. I can't really remember seeing anything interesting. I feel like I had a, uh, an audio log that said something about something outside. Which is, uh, very unhelpful. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'll just go back inside. No, wait, there's a second hole breach? Hmm. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe not yet. So let me go check on the second hole breach that exists, apparently. That's the one I was just at. There's a second one down there. How do I get to that one? Just float around, I guess. Same way I get to any hole breach. This looks like a particularly vicious hole breach, too. A notably explosive one. No, not right now, come on. Uh, give me... Kinetic Blast to get rid of them. So I can move. Give me this so I can zap that one to hack it. And ideally, there won't be a Technopath waiting for me inside. Oh. I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, you know what? Just, just give me the, uh, give me the shotgun.
Whee! Come on. There's a level 3 hack. These ones are easy. Especially with a massive open throughway. Okay, what do we got inside? Another... Another operator. But... I can't imagine... That doesn't mean... There's gonna be another... Oops. A, uh... Technopath. Because how? Why else would there be so many corrupted operators floating around the place? It's gonna be a phantom, a weaver, <laughs> fat chance. I suppose it could be a mimic. I mean, they can disguise themselves as basically anything, and they can float around in space. So you know. Will this med bay have a heal bot? Maybe. I think I saw it in there. Of course, it's not letting me move this without actually grabbing it. Yes! Cure me of my hemorrhage. <laughs> it's nice that uh, those machines aren't any quieter in the vacuum of space. Real convenient that I can still hear them booming into my brain. for me to actually find here? Or is this just more like environmental storytelling? I don't have any dead bodies marked. It's just a couple of bits of uh, materials. Beam shielding. What is that? That sounds cool. Reese's damage taken from laser attacks. Have I taken laser attacks before? Am I in danger of being laser beamed? I mean, sure, I'll, I'll get rid of my most useless mod and replace it with the beam shielding, which <laughs> may, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe any... Well, no, that can't be true, because it would have happened before. Maybe living humans will see me as an enemy, but there was, like, there's like three different occasions I've talked to living humans, and they haven't attacked me on sight, so... That's probably not the case. Maybe if I'm just, like, going on a murder spree or something, it's to protect me. But I haven't seen any... Unless there's more Typhon that I haven't come across. I haven't seen any Typhon that can use the beam attacks. Well darn. Aside from that very strange mod I'm not sure if I'll ever need. There wasn't much to find here. Somebody's bunk made it all the way out here. I'm legitimately surprised that nobody died during this, like, explosive decompression. There's no corpses anywhere around here. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I've been wandering around out here for a good, like, <laughs> half an hour or something, so I should probably make an effort to get back inside now. And go to Psychotronics and figure out why that airlock isn't open, because I'm positive I unlocked it. I mean, you're not wrong. I, I I considered that, but there's like the debris didn't go any further out, and it looks like um I don't know if the game if it's just the game's physics engine or what, but when like you kill something in space, it doesn't really continue flying anywhere because we're still being affected by gravity, I guess the artificial gravity of the station, right? I mean, to some degree, surely. Because I can throw things and they don't travel forever, but I have no idea. I mean, that's as reasonable a reason as anything else. They might have just launched so far away that I can't see them. Or maybe that whole section was at work. It was like... Maybe they wake up in shifts. Maybe that was night shift. I think I just saw the... the thing on my screen telling me there's a nightmare hunting me. Oh, deep storage, right. I totally forgot about deep storage. I need to go to Alex's room as well. Well, I guess I could do deep storage while I'm here. Identification required. Please repeat the following words. Perspective. Auspicious. Laconic. Speculation. Perspective. Auspicious. Laconic. Speculation. That didn't sound anything like her. <laughs> this robot sucks. Can't even detect... It's a fake. Mm. Why? Sorry, Morgan. But I have to lock you in this time. Oh, come on. When I trashed your arming key, it was to keep you from making a huge mistake. It's too late to stick our heads in the sand. We're committed now. You should be safe in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. You're just... not yourself. Come on. You might be on my side, but you're not on humanity's side. You forgot your roots. Welcome to deep storage. If Talos 1 had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. Mm. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. It's a lot of math here. Alright. Enjoy. Make sure to let the new guy in. 0461. Fabrication plan for ammunition for the Huntress Boltcaster. I already have that, but, you know, whatever. I'll take it. Mean. Akande's a nice guy, and who can blame him for trying to get off corrective? And wanting a real desk instead of a card table. He sits out there all by himself with nothing to do. I feel sorry for him. Should try to be nicer to him. I don't like mean people. Uh, oh right. There's a... I forgot about the treasure hunt. Ivy... St. Christopher or something. Ivy Song's password, okay. I had completely forgotten there was like a whole whole subplot, like subplot of like sub plot sub story. Um, this I'm just supposed to find a bunch of map locations to get cool loot, I guess. Huh? 
data. That's what I'm looking for. Notes. I was hoping they'd be all like together in one spot, but it doesn't look like it. So yeah, like this sort of thing. I need to find this area right here on L2. Lobby 2, maybe? And this probably means something. Um, how do I find more treasure map parts? Where are they all? Treasure map, there we go. Uh, another one of these. L1. Looking this direction, whatever this thing is. B2. This is a pretty, like, this should be an easy one to locate. I doubt there's many rooms that would look anything like this. But... What would L... Life support? Can I look at life support? No. L1... There's, I don't know what L1 would be. It must be, it must be lobby, right? Talos lobby. Or life support. Nah, I don't know. I'll worry about it when I... <laughs> when I care to find all the map pieces. Um, okay. What is about to kill me in here? Oh, you just corrupted. Out of nowhere. Ah, there's a technopath. Of course there is. Alright. Let me zap you. Get you on my side. I guess I literally have a power that gives me a temporary control of these things, since this isn't going to live long enough to actually help me, I don't think. Give me my thing. Psychoshock. Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. Mm. Okay, I need to hit the Technopath. With that, and then maybe I'll chuck a bomb at him for fun. Just over there, because I didn't want to get hit. Yikes. Bye. Nope, don't hit me. Easy. Whee. Getting zapped means nothing. This is it's level three. Oh, it's level two hack. Never mind. <laughs> this is a bit harder. That was level three hack. Okay, well, I'm hemorrhaging again, which is always fun. Where is the destroyed engineer that fell over? Nowhere. Ooh. Just take a drink, sure. Uh, a little sneaky route that I ignored. This just goes up into the other room over here, right? Something's stopping me from moving there. Oh, I'm just <laughs> taking a bunch of damage from jumping. Um, do I want to patch that hemorrhage, or do I just want to leave it for now? I'll just leave it. Oh, I'm stuck. I don't know what's keeping me stuck here, but I'm very stuck. Okay, uh... What should I do? <laughs> uh, drop a coil on the ground. Turn into a cup. There. Stay out of that location. <laughs> Hmm. Nope. That's fine. I meant to open up my scroll wheel and then drink a thing, but made a mistake. And now that area is just going to be on fire for a bit. Hmm. 
I need to get that away from that location. I don't want this anywhere near me. I don't want to deal with the radiation poisoning. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I need to go over here, don't I? Yeah. Huh. It's a busted uh, conduit up there. Is there a way for me to get there from here? Kind of? If I make a whole bunch of platforms? I'm going to have to jump a lot, so I am going to have to get rid of that hemorrhage. That's not what I want. This one? No. It's fractures. Now I can sort of hemorrhage it. It feels like a waste, though, because I don't... I'm not like... It's not like an emergency. I don't need it right now. I'm not sprinting away from my life. No matching key card. Who needs a key card? Don't you know who I am? I can turn into things. I just sneak in there. Maybe. Let me get that mug. Can I, can I grab that mug out of there and just drag it right here? No, don't don't fall. I need you. Right here. There we go. Yeah, who needs key cards? Also, give me this immediately. I need to heal. <laughs> give me back my life. Requesting new operator. Please. I'm dying over here. Thank you. I'll have you feeling better soon. Ooh. Good as new. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. My inventory's full up. This does not bode well. I need room to pick up more loot. Uh, that's fully upgraded. This is not anywhere near, so I gotta upgrade this. Uh, more magazine capacity wouldn't hurt. More range probably isn't bad. I think I'll maybe get that. Fighting things in space has kind of <laughs> made me aware of the, the shortfall of using that gun in particular. Talos 1, safety reminder. Central repository is a zero-gravity environment that is maintained at 1 degree Celsius. Please remember to follow all safety protocols listed in the Central Repository Safety Handbook. Grant access. What? Something just took a lot of damage. Oh, there's a mimic out there. Who do you think you are? Can't blast it to the wall. <laughs> I thought the drone had got it. Jeez. Hello. Good to see you again, Doctor Yu. Annoyingly, I have to go take radiation damage because I want to see what's over here. Okay, nothing, nothing of use. Uh, zero, four, six, one. Ooh, that person's super dead. In the toilet, too, geez. It's a bad way to go. Check in with Chief Show. Sign for firearm. Check displays for tampering. Walk the entire area. Check all rooms. Get somewhere to wash the security booth. Oh, someone to wash security booth windows. Akande, who approved your request for shotgun rounds? 
We all agree there's something in here, but please don't damage the equip. Dr. Show. Danielle Show. Uh, Akande, Chief Show says you've been great. Your corrective is closed. I'm very impressed. We'll be getting you that workstation ASAP. Sarah. Hmm. <clears throat> Is this the uh, the card table that they were talking about? Whoa. My own drone just zapped me again. What is with this? This keeps happening. Is this a Conde? No, it's Heather Bents. Where are you? What in the world is happening? Who's, a, who's zapping me? Oh, as a engineer. It's got to be that medical drone, right? This has happened once before. It, it must be that. I'm going to find it somewhere. Get rid of it. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Not you. You. Why am I getting eerie music right now? What is happening that's causing this music? Nothing's happening. Should I be aware of something? Am I just like ignorant of happenings? Welcome. Also, I really need <laughs> I really need a recycle station. Amongst among other things. I need a lot of things, I guess, but the recycle station. Ah, uh, hi. Uh, can I scan you? No. Just give me a second. You can go ahead and slowly approach while I blast you. Pretty sure I saw Mick right there. There you go. Okay. Just go ahead and trash all this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And then walk over here and grab all this stuff. chest. Oh, yeah. I don't have it. I don't have the code to it. I can finally hack a level 4. Okay. Maybe a little bit more cautiously. Easy. What you got for me? Uh, what? A weapon upgrade kit? That's not worth it. Come on. Man. Could have been a neuromod in there. Excerpt from a book on emulated entities and synthetic intelligence by Carter Billingsley. The Supreme Court is set to weigh in on what could be a groundbreaking decision this term. Can an emulated entity be granted a power of attorney? Over the last few decades, the public has become increasingly familiar with artificial helpers. From the personal assistants on their wristwatches to the smart home systems that remind you where you put your keys. But more recent advances in hybrotech hybrotic tech and the genius of connectomics uh, the ability to map the myriad neuronal connections inside a person's brain have thrust digital doppelgangers squarely into the legal arena recently billionaire Rourke Wallace granted power of attorney not to one of his many estranged family members but to a robotic facsimile of himself named Ransom Ransom emulates Mr. Wallace's own reasoning interests, and, to some extent, personality quirks to the point where the two are nearly indistinguishable, at least over the phone. In person, Ransom's molded ceramic and carbon body, while beautiful, make his true nature unmistakable. Needless to say, Mr. Wallace's family is not amused, especially concerning Ransom's decision for how to execute Mr. Wallace's will. Hmm. 
Uh, warning. Sending a kill signal to a tracking bracelet is a violation of Transtar policy. Do not deactivate a tracking bracelet for any reason without proper authorization. Tracking bracelets ensure all Transtar and personnel can be located in the event of an emergency. Modifying a tracking bracelet must have written approval and may only be deactivated by those with director level clearance. Uh... I'm trying to activate it. It's right there. I'm trying to activate it. Is it not? Okay. Um, so I can't act. Okay, so these numbers don't actually mean what this is, I guess. So maybe I have to find somebody else. Hey, Neuromods! Somebody else's tracking bracelet number. Uh, Miss Show, I wanted to remind you that we have some sensitive information regarding the volunteers, and I'd like you to make sure it's secure. I've also included fabrication plans for some changes that you m should transfer to storage. Thanks. <clears throat> Dr. Yu, I spoke to Lorenzo Calvino and got no response, so bringing the matter to you, there is evidence of an unlicensed ap operator aboard Telus One. If so, oh yeah, I remember this. And then Alex Yu is like, nah, it's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's 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 me. That's that's what that's the operator that I built. That's January or December, one or the other. And then the treasure hunt. Yay! Okay, so whose tracking bracelet got disabled, and how do I re-enable it? Because obviously the numbers on that wall don't mean anything. <laughs> and only one person. Got deactivated, and then it got reactivated, I guess? Oh, I see. So these two people both got new bracelets, I guess. Hmm. New tracking bracelets. Okay, so Adrian Holland doesn't have a tracking bracelet right now, I guess. Whoever that is. I don't know if this even matters. I don't even... I, don't, I mean, this sh must mean something, but... I don't know who I'm going to enable a tracking bracelet for... No, I don't want that. I have a lot of these recycle charges. I really need to get rid of them. Yoink. Shotgun critical. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Holy crap, I'm gonna immediately put that in. What do I want to get rid of for shotgun critical? I use this a lot. I use this a lot. I I, I need I need this. Actually, you know what? I don't really need this, do I? It's really slow, although it's super nice to have, just for convenience sake. Weapon damage on marked enemies. I don't mark enemies at all. I don't think I need this one. So if there's nothing worse, I'll probably get rid of that. Being, I don't like this one, but being able to cast the powers without having to double tap the click button to make it like work is really nice. Psycho Shock I use all the time. Wait, what is this one? That's, yeah, that's the side one, okay. Pistol crit, I would like both of those. I'm out of, so Psycho Shock for sure. Psymeter consumes health is useful but not necessary. This one, I, I never mark anything, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Put the shotgun one in. The extra damage from marking things would probably be very convenient, but it takes time to mark something, and I never get it off in time. <laughs> Since I kill them too fast anyway. That's my reasoning, and I'm sticking to it. Recycler charge fabrication, I don't need that. I have tons of them. Error. Attitude adjustment required. <laughs> Let me get the... Uh... 
I hope that doesn't break the machine. Nah, it didn't. Good. Give me all that tasty, tasty loot. Uh, where? I need more metal. Yeah. Oh, suck me in. Jeez. Thought I was pretty far away. Enter bracelet ID. Need to know what that means. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is there a security terminal around here that I can look at? That's files. Oh, I didn't even bother looking at these. Treasure hunt map. Here's your map. Transfer file. ELB. Also, what the heck is this? What is this triangle thing? <laughs> ELB. ELB. What, could it, what is ELB? <laughs> I, I have no idea what ELB is. What's a first world problem? <laughs> Sorry. Charge plans. What in the world? Too busy focusing on trying to figure out how to do that bracelet thing. I wasn't paying attention to whenever that message was sent. And I can't see the times on it, because I'm my my program doesn't reveal that information to me for some reason. Fabrication plan, yep, for the Huntress Boltcaster. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, it's a really silly problem to have. Um, hey, Ivy, Benin was snooping around my desk looking for rats again. He's so weird. I mean, rats in space? He was acting all big city ca cop. Newsflash, no crime in orbit. They need to ship him home. I don't think you should talk to him. I don't like the way he looks at you. Make sure you get the fab plan I sent you. You have to play the game with me. Everybody's in it. Uh, let me let me download the the plan, I guess. Even though I already have it. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Like uh, in the beginning, I I didn't have that much trouble killing things anyway. But like, <laughs> it's become so incredibly easy to like deal with almost any threat now, just purely because I have the really powerful psychic powers and things that I don't really need to worry about marking targets to do extra damage, when I can just slot a shotgun mod to do extra damage and anything that doesn't kill it instantly is just done for. I am slowly running out of materials to make more shotgun rounds, though, so that's a problem. Because it all requ everything requires metal to some extent. It's clipping through the glass, so I'm allowed to grab it. Typhon Lure, EMP Charge. Can you put these in the safe, please? Thanks. What you got for me here? Another hack? Hmm, interesting. I bet the code's on the PC that I just ignored. Ow. Disruptor gun fabrication plan, and a Neuromod, you know, it's fine. I've noticed that all the level 4 chests only give you, like, one kinda cool thing. <laughs> Volunteer ID. Access permission director only. Next scheduled data archival disk sweep pending. Test subject ID numbers are not provided by workstation. Yeah, okay, so I'm not allowed to have a volunteer ID, because I'm not a volunteer, I guess. Am 
going to be rewarded for this. Maybe if I make the jump. Okay, there's a shock thing up there. There's one to my right as well, it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, sure is. Nice. There was one there too. Good. Oh. Uh, uh oh. I don't think I'm gonna make it this time. Come on. Oh, that lasted a lot longer than I expected. No. That's annoying. <laughs> oh well. Why are there so many busted conduits up here? Or junctions, whatever you want to call them. Thingies. So many busted thingies. There we go. Where are you? Okay, zap that. Jump on this beam and don't jump off. What is, what is happening down there? I was a weaver. I was wondering what that noise was. That's a lot of, lot of dead people. Oh, it's mostly, it's mostly oil. Hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I say you could scare me. I'm out of bullets. What do I want to use to deal with you? It is turning a corpse into a phantom. Probably should have uh, made myself some ammo before I decided to leave that room. Got a high nine thousand over here. What? What is this supposed to be? It's a big old monolith. Right, cause I'm going down. Okay, give me some more bullets, please. Nine millimeters. I can't seem to do the thing with this one. Yeah, you know, one more might be okay. Actually, held in. You can only hold up to ninety bullets, I think. So this will put me over cap. Double check that to be sure. Yeah, ninety and then thirty extras. Bit much. Oh, I have enough to shove some stuff into my eye. What do I want to put in there? More psychic energy is always a good one. I probably should get that out of the way. I don't really need stamina. I don't need combat focus. I've never. Ne I haven't used this since the beginning of the game. More health is always nice. Uh, making my powers stronger might be cool. I use Psycho Shock a lot, so getting more damage on that might be a good option. And I do have 10 Neuro Mods, so I can get both of these upgrades. Oops. Confirm. There we go. Alright, now I've got Psycho Shock 3, which is definitely, <laughs> definitely gonna be oh, useful right now. You wanna, you wanna bring it on, bud? Hmm? That's right, Psycho Shock 3 didn't do that much damage to you, actually. Yeah, 
out of here. What do you think you are coming into my office? I believe this guy. Okay, so I guess I should probably get some more neuro mods, huh? grab as much as I thought I would. I just, I can't really tell what gets sucked into these things. <laughs> maybe it's just like very light objects. Like maybe leverage one and lower. Hello. Well, this is a leverage three object, right? Yeah. Will that work? Yeah, it also dragged him from over here, too. Jeez. I can't get that one yet. Come on. I don't want to get shocked, so I'm going to do this. Until it lets me in. <laughs> Alright. Any more loose... Wires. Andrew Gray. Well, he's super dead. Luckily, I didn't allow him to turn into a phantom, so... I don't know how that works, but if it might... Maybe it's like torture to them. Uh, maybe they don't want to be phantoms. Or maybe they would like it, because it'd make them alive again. Akande Benin, I heard you did well. Sorry you're dead. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to go out at all right now. I just I just got back in and I already checked out the food pot over there. I wonder if those are actually there, or if they're just, um, nonsense. This doesn't mean anything to me. I'm sure it means something to somebody who works here. That's the fancy glass. What was the point of coming into this room? <laughs> Was it just to repair the sparking electrics? Hmm. I've already been in here. I don't want to go back in here. Just get all these hard drives out of here. I'm sure there's something hidden. No? Okay, well, fine. Fine. I think I'm probably going to have to go back up there and look for more junk. Hello. Nice to see you. Hmm. The only thing I can think of that would be in this room would be up. So I guess I'll just go back up. Because what else would be here? There's nothing on the ground floor. <laughs> Aside from that objective marker leading me to that room for some reason, I don't know why I'm supposed to be in there. 
Eh, uh, why did I fall? Why did I jump is a better question. There was a way to go over here, wasn't there? Ooh. In the pipes. Or is this just somewhere I could have gone anyway? Yeah, this is above Akande's desk. This is not useful. And there's the creepy music again. So what's down there? 27 meters below that. Or 27 below, meters below me, I guess. So, I need to go down one floor. Do I have the capacity to do that? Yes. Oh, that just leads me to the door. Of course it does. Why did I even go through all that trouble? I just need to go this way. I opened this and just forgot it existed. Completely forgot about it. Microgravity detected. How good cystoid nests. My favorite. I guess there's another weaver in here somewhere. Um, hmm, what symbol is that? <laughs> Drive installation. Please ensure all drives meet Transtar compatibility and encryption protocols prior to making them available on the network. Wow, there's a lot of cystoid nests down here. don't have anything to throw right now. <laughs> hey, that kind of works. <laughs> oh, don't. Rude. Ow. Oh, it seems to know I'm here, somehow. I didn't think it was obvious that I was here with that massive grenade explosion that just occurred, but, you know, whatever. That was the wrong place to throw that. That should have been closer to me. Like here. Actually, I might be able to aim it on them. Well... Yeah, I have to... Okay, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I wasn't moving. I was hoping it would just ignore me. Okay. So, I gotta take out that weaver real quick. That's that's what I gotta do here. The cystoids be damned. The weaver needs to go. Because they're just gonna keep on spawning endless weaver or endless cysts over and over. Can I use a Typhon lure? Yes. Kind of works. Not exactly how I'd wanted it to, but it's something. No. No. Yes. Easy.
All right, give me kinetic blast. I like bounce that off the wall. Yes, I can. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Oh, so good at games. Okay, so where's this nest I keep seeing? Oh, there it is. You have a lot of emotes just ready for <laughs> any situation, huh? Okay, this is gonna get me killed. <laughs> if I, I can't seem to get this one to stop spewing out fire. Ow. It was working, though, apparently. So maybe I'll just leave it. Ow, it's not working after all. I lied. That didn't work either. I can't even tell what that one is. <laughs> Mouse over that real quick. Oh, it's a sip. You're drinking something. <laughs> what is that? I can't tell. My window's way too small. Oh, that was a mistake. Why did I... Why did I shoot the explosive container next to a bunch of pipes that literally spit fire at me? What a... What a... I'm an idiot. Forget being a genius. God, why did I do that? Who would have thought that was a good idea? Okay. I think I'm good. Now... I, I'm not going to make an effort to find the Weaver's corpse in this mess of golden light. Because that's going to be impossible. But I also have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. Oh, I guess this. guess that it probably needs to be not burned. Also, loot. Yeah. So what does that lead me to? Is that just a porthole so I can look out? Yeah, it's got that same, like, magic glass. Oh, it's this place. It's like that, that room in the middle that I was just at. I'm sure that's very, very clear, that statement, but... <laughs> I've been there before. Okay, I'll just leave that there. I'm gonna run over there and kill that cystoid nest and check out if there's anything nifty underneath there where it's hanging out. Oh, hi. Ugh. Anything nifty under this spot here? Perhaps? I think the answer is no. <laughs> Nothing nifty. Oh, hey, I found the weaver. This 
got to be like a bunch of hidden loot in here somewhere. There has to be. It's so it's there's so much going on. This would be the perfect place to hide it cuz it'd be impossible to find. <laughs> Okay, do this thing. Yeah? Good work. I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your arming key. Mm. Do I have uh, the choice to not die? Search Alex's room for the escape pod. Yeah, okay, so there is... <laughs> I can still do that mission, I guess. There's gonna be some more creatures waiting for me around here. Hello, are you here for an appointment? I'll do it. I'm afraid of a phantom. Oh wow, Psychoshock has such a long cooldown. Blammo. I mean, yeah, but I I have I can I can give myself 200 extra years to not be dead, ideally. So, you know, it's fine if I leave the station. I'm not a Typhon, right? I'm not gonna kill people, you know, on the planet. As long as I leave, it's fine. But, I mean, like, nobody else can. Wow. Rude. I just came in here to look at a terminal and you attack me? Something has gone wrong. Morgan, Alex has you boxed in. Thank you. Look, there's nothing I can do about the lockdown from out here. But I promised I'd help you. So listen. Deep storage was built with a series of data vault modules that can be jettisoned from the station. It's a redundant backup system. That's your way out. Mm. Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open up one of the vaults. Okay. Why are you still out there? You can come back in. I've unlocked the hatches. You don't have to suffocate out there. There's also there's a bunch of oxygen stations out there, too. You can literally just go to one of them and have infinite oxygen. I, ma I made sure that the, the thing was working. Then your ass is space junk, like me. That's big. That's a really big key. That's true. I mean, those those keys to the city are real big too, and those are important. How else are you gonna open up the doors in the city? Data Vault A and Data Vault B. Anything else here? No. Oh, this place. And 
here I was wondering what this room was for. I guess the data vault is the um, the place where all that food was for some reason. Is show actually gonna be out here? Or? Why does it give me like dramatic music? As if like there's a <laughs> there's a urgency here. my psychic powers and I couldn't stop a box hitting me in the face. Microgravity detected. They're afraid. No. Nothing that interferes with memory formation. Ah. <sighs> Well, suppose it's a good thing that my suit auto-activates my helmet, or otherwise I'd be suffocating to death right now. Morgan? Morgan? Yes? This is Chief Elazar. The airlocks on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. Why is everybody concerned about getting me back inside the station? Also, why aren't they getting Daniel's show back in the station? Like, she's been out here way longer than I have. I mean, you don't have to like somebody to save their life. Oh, I remember this place. Human corpse? Oh, I bet that's gonna be show, huh? Yes. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm just trying to pick up power to use on those. Listen to me. Oxygen is low, and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from here. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. How do I rescue you? Let me do that. I should probably do that now, huh? Two, three, one, two. Oh. So I guess I have to go into the cargo bay and press some buttons. System alert. Repairs needed. I see you, Morgan. We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe. For the moment. It will be a trick to get inside. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. Yeah, I have to save Igwe's life, though. <laughs> I could just open the container and kill him, but that feels... that feels kind of bad. I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> I've already forgotten what it was. It's 2314? 2312? Hold on, Igwe, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Two, three, one, two.
Uh, dock. Dock shipping container. Wow, that's fast. Oh, at last. I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterians. Oh, he's like spring. <laughs> you are my thanks, Dr. Yu. Yes. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're well... coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. I'm definitely still running the... The hamster wheel. I don't remember anything. You found Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he suffered. January, I don't Though I trust your ass. He's always <laughs> like, admired you and Alex quite a bit. I, I don't trust January. It feels like the villain of the story here. I already have thermal shielding, otherwise I'd be really excited about that. Unless there's like a better version of thermal shielding, but I doubt it. When did this breach happen? I flew all around the station for like a half an hour. I never saw this breach. Oh, I guess it is a big station, so it's possible I missed it, though very unlikely. some of these hacked chests. Better be a Neuromod in here. Yeah, two Neuromods. Portable turret fabrication plan. I wonder if I have to hack the turrets that I make myself, or if they'll be automatically on my side. Oh, some booze. System alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Hmm. We got a glue cannon out here for. Only twenty five bullets, too. Jeez. So, did I have to get that, uh... Hmm... Hmm... I keep seeing these red lights everywhere and thinking to look for a fire alarm, and then I realize I'm in space. And there's probably not a fire alarm in space. Aliens are famously um, lack on their uh, lacks on their their fire restrictions, their fire code, fire safety code. It was a joke there. I was trying to go for, it, but I just couldn't get it out in time. Before I just fumbled. There's one more cystoid nest somewhere, at least. <laughs> I should probably, I'm just like scooting around, picking up all this random debris instead of going into the containers and looking inside them. What's in this? 
more supplies. I looked in that one. That might have something. That body I found, but did I loot it? Probably. I don't know why I wouldn't have. I did. That's Jessica Wiley. She had a shotgun. Oh, there's a transcribe here. Hey, uh, Jessica, got a minute? It's my day off. Yeah, but can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I, I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant. Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Pay attention, then. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. <laughs> and I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way, the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay. I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. <laughs> it wasn't that hard to explain. You didn't need to sound so exhausted over it. <laughs> That's true. He... he but, I mean, he was just asking clarifying questions, though. Like, I would rather be asked, <laughs> like, how to dock a, a container rather than have him accidentally depressurize the entire building or something, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe I'm just lenient on that sort of thing, but... I feel like... A question that's a little bit annoying to answers is, is probably the lesser of two evils. Alright, we're just gonna ignore that cystoid nest. Oh, yeah, Neuromod, hell yeah, what's up? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm a bit, um,. Like, uh, more lenient on that sort of thing because I'm one of those people who asks the exact same question like five times to make sure I get it right every time because I, I don't have a good memory for that sort of thing. If I open this, is it gonna depressurize? Hey, both sides of the containers are not supposed to be open at the same time. God, it's like the Morgan didn't even learn anything from that little tutorial. This is going to be, like, a very minor gripe. I But I hate how fast those lo those first loading screens are going by. Because I really like to read tooltips out. For so I don't know why, but I've always loved just reading out tooltips as they're loading. And that loading screen goes by too quickly for me to read it. Doctor, you. Yeah, what? Morgan. Yes. Up here, Officer Cool. Hi. If we can't open the main door, or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Yeah, no problem. I'll just, I'll just deal with them. I don't know if you know this, but I have a lot of psychic powers now. I, you probably won't. You probably didn't know that. There's no way you would have known that.
Nope. Got spotted. Wow. Where did that, um... Oh, hi. Oh, what? Wow. You think you're so cool with your laser beams, huh? Or your, your plasma balls? Take that. <laughs> your brain blasted. So it's, uh, it's probably safe to assume that there's only one more. You're lightning. I'm not worried about you. You don't have a long-range attack. Now you can't even use your lightning. God, Psychoshock is such a strong ability. Attention. Due to a catastrophic breach in Cargo Bay 1, all personnel are to avoid the area until repairs have been completed and safety checks confirmed. Affected personnel will be contacted for temporary reassignment. This is a pre-recorded message. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you ran off to. Should probably eat some eels to get my health back. Or maybe a banana. Maybe both. Chipset. Fear reactor. Oh, is this the one that gives me a chance to resist, resist fear? Oh, upon killing a Typhon, there's a chance to trigger a fear blast to other nearby Typhons. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'll ever need that, but it sounds cool. Do I want to remove anything? Maybe the one that takes my health, I guess. I, I, I don't mind it that much, but I don't really need it, so... The fear blast thing might be kind of fun. I don't know what fear is going to do to the enemy, though. To me, it just makes it so my aim is a bit wonky, but... To them, I imagine they'll flee. Which I, maybe I don't want. Because I kind of hate having to chase them down. Okay, so these are all powered down, obviously. I was hoping to find more enemies down here. Oh, there's a turret. Hmm. Luckily, it's still in its box, I guess. Wrench. Other fan. <gasps> Ash Lasser. No. How did this happen? Actually, how did that happen? The thing like broke off completely. Oh, it's like a hydraulic thing. But it's still, yeah, it shouldn't have broken like that. Unless these Typhon have some sort of, like... Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's for sure. Like, they definitely shouldn't have been standing there, but... I, I can't think of how this may have occurred. It ended in that person's death. Also, I hear footsteps, and because... I don't imagine there's any humans up there right now. Actually, I guess there are humans, huh? There's literally one that was hollering to me when I was talking to them. But yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. The The whole point, <laughs> the whole reason those, those hazard stripes exist are to uh, warn people of <laughs> dangerous machinery. Can't, uh... Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. Still fire right there. Wow. That's not gonna work. How would I put out this raging blue fire? Diane Washington, corpse. System alert. 
Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. <coughs> hmm. I think that damaged my suit. It did. <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> Apparently, I can't block it with the glue. How come I can't get, like, alien night vision or something? <laughs> like, I gotta rely on this flashlight the whole time. I can chuck things with my mind. Why can't I get alien night vision? Also, will this kill me instantly? Or it'll just hurt real bad? It just hurts real bad. Locked out until I update my credentials. How about Reployer Reployer? Won't forget that anytime soon. You know what, that's, that's fair. You have convinced me. <laughs> I need to start getting around with, like, echolocation or something. Maybe I should stop just playing around the fire, huh? Maybe that'd be a good idea. up here. I mean, there I, there is a safe path. It's just more I don't want to have to, you know, jump down and climb back up and then jump down and climb back up. I'd rather just, like, you know, get it all done all at once. It makes perfect sense, surely. Also, you know, I, I got all these med kits and bananas and eels to eat, so, you know, I gotta sort of, you know, gotta give them on something. Oh, hi. <laughs> hmm. I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to be doing. I probably shouldn't turn on the power because I imagine they'll want me to turn on the power at some point. And if I turn it on now, I might kill them all. Somehow. I don't know how. I don't know how that would work. But <laughs> I probably shouldn't jump ahead and do the things that uh, I'm probably going to have to do anyway. Can I just, like, force this open? I sure can. Don't know why I have to use psychic powers to do it. I got leverage three. A lot of turrets. There's a, there's a lot of turrets. I'm definitely gonna. They're definitely gonna have some turrets set up waiting for me in that room, and I'm going to get blasted to hell immediately. Hey. I I didn't I didn't hear you. I don't, how do they expect me to get up there? I guess with a glue gun. Aliens don't have the brains to use the glue gun yet, I guess.
Is there an elevator? Man, you guys really got to post up a, a turrets up here or something, because, like, I'm chock full of Typhon DNA right now. I could kill all of you, like, instantly. Again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me, Dr. Igwe, Dio Igwe. Yes. Your brother, Alex. I literally just saved your life. <laughs> to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but, well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Oh my god, a free Neuromod. You're my best friend. There's still hope. There must be. You all right? You all right? Yeah. Are you all right? If you hadn't come along, Morgan, I'd still be at the mud. I thought, I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? Like I was watching uh, myself. I was in fuel storage when, when the fire broke out and okay, everyone you're, began You're both running. talking to me at the same oh, time. But they weren't running from the fire. It was like these was shapes. Running. I had contained the fire, and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? Uh, I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Well... Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? I think that's probably Alex. I think Alex is probably doing that. There must be some way out of this. Can you repeat you everything you said to me how earlier? Did this all happen. Hope the EADs from the Arboretum were useful. On full auto, they should dare those creatures to pieces. Although I'm glad the EAD rounds were designed not to penetrate the hull. I was up in the Arboretum because, well. Sarah asked me to keep an eye on your brother and his visitors. Let her know if I noticed anyone or anything... odd. Talk about an understatement. We were almost set to arrest your brother when... the attack happened. Mm. Well, wow. you should have done it faster. Are you doing all right? I'm pretty sure he's the villain here. Are you doing all yeah, right? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I thought you had more to say. Where did those things come from? Oh, you know what? Did those supplies? They're not for you. Okay, well, geez. All right, I'm sorry. Don't put it back. Here, have have some, like, have, like, 50 bananas, for fuck's sake. Jeez. I didn't mean to swear just then, but, you know, because <laughs> it just sort of came out. I just thought, you know, I saw some things on the table. I figured I'd grab them, all right? It's not my fault. <clears throat> Details of the incident. The accident occurred during fuel transfer. The blast walls held, now the blast door is closed and the damage contained. But we lost some crew in there. Power's been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everybody's tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talos is falling apart. Good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been off offloaded and awaits you in Cargo Bay A. I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols at the start of their shift today, as you will be lucky individuals that get to escort these contents to fuel storage. To fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine trifluoride will do if you mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. Stick to the procedures and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you all the rest of the shift off. Uh, Dio Igwe assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid interacting with cargo bay personnel. There are some incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential and he answers directly to me, so if you have any issues, please contact me or contact my office. You don't care about the wire, huh? Like, I'm just allowed to take the wire? Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. 
Yeah, probably. I don't have any problems with it, and I've got tons. You don't look so good. I look great. People. Gosh, just real snarky. I come in here to save all of them, and they just keep on insulting me and God, stuff. watching those things move. It makes me sick. Quinn. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any of us. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. I can't help but notice that these are considered allies right now. I haven't, um... I mean, I, ha I haven't switched sides, have I? <laughs> They're both allies. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. What's that supposed <laughs> to mean? Don't tell her I said that. What? I'm, I'm going to tell her you said that. Oh, yeah. Give me that medical drone. Hello. Nice to see you. My mistake. Stop shoving me around. Jeez. My mistake. And it just shoves me into a wall. Please, hold still. This will only take a moment. Good as new. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, where else is where else is it supposed to go? That's that's where Typhon DNA goes into your eyeball. I mean, they they may like me, they may consider me one of them, you know, but you know, I'm still human, still helping. Please relay following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit. Appraisal, whoops. By a board of directors member. Talos cargo staff performed admirably during inspection. Well done. Keep up the good work. Oops. Uh, you know, do I want to power equipped right now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay, we're not gonna worry about that for now. Dr. Igwe figures he'd survive. Dumb luck, I suppose. What's wrong with Dr. Igwe? Aside from, like, being kind of up in people's business all the time. Oh man, neuromods. Okay. If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. Maybe he can be of. So you came all <laughs> this way only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Yeah. Kind of like you. Yeah. I'm the only one with the code. Okay. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... Wait. Yeah? You have the fabrication plan already. Yeah. That means all we need is a working fabricator. But there was an accident in fuel storage, so power's down. We need to get the power back oh, on. Oh, well. I couldn't ask you to risk yourself. The explosion in fuel storage nearly killed Ekaterina. I can't ask anyone to risk themselves. Not even you. Uh, Still, I, uh... look around. Maybe there's some angle you see we don't. I already opened the... You've door. been resourceful so far. The door's open. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. What? What are you? What are you talking about? I've been saving everybody I could. I didn't do anything. I've been imprisoned by Alex this whole time. I would love to take those neuromods, but I worry I'm going to get yelled at if I do. I am worried the lifts were sealed. Hey, this is Gus, down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh, station. did you order any reployers Hello. from Earth? Good order any again, what? Doctor, you. Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine. What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I was hoping that you could tell me. <laughs> what does it me. do? <gasps> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't Dr. order Lee. any deployer. Heard you found the body of smuggler and cargo. Ask bed. somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No, no one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Station. 
Well, he was perhaps I can come Guess down I'll this evening and take a look now. at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. What the hell's a reployer? Hey, are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Don't Take Nicole out for a nice uh, dinner, Dr. all right? Igwe is lucky yes, to Chief. Be here or not. Thank you, Chief. I'd have been safer in his crate. Everybody seems to be talking, like, as if I'm next to them. <laughs> they just keep talking to themselves. There must be a way to get some turrets online. Yeah, yeah, there, I know. I Yeah, there's power, and I, I, there's turrets everywhere. I saw them. They're around. Also, why did you block off this? Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> Just steal everything in here. Hopefully they don't mind. Oh, hey, a turret. Uh, you know, I should probably... I, I probably... It's gonna take a while, but I should probably hack all these turrets that I find lying around the place. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against it. I have to wonder if 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 a reployer if a reployer is a real thing. It's just a running joke this game has. Eradicate a turret. We have a chance. Oh, I was worried for a second. I thought that turret was going to shoot all the people. Is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah. Officer Hayashi, Doctor Yu. Yes. Hello. I probably know your name. Um, I'm definitely not missing all of my memory from the last, like, two weeks, or whatever it was. Hey Jessica, log in with Reployer Reployer, if you need to access the cages. Don't tell anyone, it'll make me look stupid. Well, I've already, uh, already opened the cage, but... Sure. If they see me using powers will they hate me any luck with the eradicators would be a lot better than these cap guns Transtar assigned us I suppose I suppose you wouldn't know because you didn't play the same way <laughs> uh I guess that's probably cage two. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just move these out of the way. Ooh, neuromods. How many neuromods do you reckon I have on me right now? Because I've just been getting neuromods, and I haven't been looking at them. I'm going to guess... 7. I guess I could have seen just then. 15! Wow! Okay. <laughs> We're going to use some of those right now. Uh, Alright. I want more health. I don't need it, but I want it. Resistance to electricity and fire would be great. I need to get that sooner or later. I mean, it's not really resistance, it's like absorption, I guess. Um, phew, uh, better med kits might be nice. More side, just get that out of the way. I've been wanting that for such a long time. <laughs> and food buff better, sure. There, now I have 300 psi. And I still can't pick that up. Six, six upgrade kits, huh? Nice. 
fully upgraded Artemis Golden Pistol. Got a fully upgraded shotgun, pistol, and then I have to get the science weapon upgrade to get the science weapons upgraded. I suppose this thing is probably the one I've used the least. I imagine it's quite good, but just can't bring myself to use it for any reason. Because <laughs> it takes a long time to get it out and, like, fire it. I need to steal all this medkit. Bride heart of you know I could just go out there and kill all of them. I don't. Oh hi. How you doing? I probably don't need the help of a turret. That's Weaver out there now. Wasn't there before. What? What do you want? Stop looking at me. Weirdo? Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but... Fills me with dread. Anyway, Chief Alistar's waiting on you. I could just open this door. Doctor Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures, it... I'm sorry, Doctor Yu, that was out of line. Forgive me. Nicole Haig? Do I know that one? We can't wait here forever. The crew may need mm -hmm. our help. Okay. Let me run up there, turn on the power, get Hello. some turrets. Or whatever. <laughs> and then, I guess, murder everything in this room. turret over there. I guess I could just go over there. No! Can I climb that? Probably not. Oh, kind of. Get up there with this <laughs> specifically. Let me hack this turret too. That way I can repair it and then use that for whatever, I guess. fail, but I, I'm not great at the level 2 hacks. Okay, there we go. Deploying. Shipments from Earth have been temporarily delayed. Personnel are directed to clear up backlog deliveries until notified by a supervisor. Hmm. 
Is there any more of those containers around? The turret over here somewhere. I just saw it pop up. I don't know where it is, though. There it is. It's always facing me. It, every time I open those things, it's always facing me. I know I could just pick it up and turn it around, but I just I just can't tell what direction it's facing whenever I open them. Adds a bit of danger to the, the hacking minigame. Attack from material is not inconclusive. Uh you just you just tried to kill me. I don't know how many uh, turrets they want, but I've got lots. Hold on. Is this not the door that... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where's the door? There it is. I found it. Power on. more turrets lying around? No. Doesn't look like it. Well, we got some. That's something. Just trash all this. I don't need the shotgun. I don't need that. Or that. Or any of these wrenches. I have a lot of wrenches. None of this food. No repair kits. Nope, I want that. I do need that. And I'll use that. What do I want to upgrade? I guess this again. Oh, apparently this counts as a uh, regular weapon, not a um, not a special one, <laughs> not a le not like a, a science weapon. Yoink! How many turrets do you think they want? I have a lot of metal. I could make a lot of neuro mods. Was there not a um oh here we go. <laughs> Place turrets in the loading zone of cargo bay B. Place two more turrets in the loading zone. Okay, so I have three turrets total. It doesn't really matter. I'll kill everything in there anyway, so... I'll just make some neuro mods. <sighs> oh, come on. So this is one of those ones that won't let me cheese the system and keep picking. I have to actually add something to it. One more. Nice. Four neuro mods. What do I got? I got five now. Could upgrade my glue gun and my Q beam. Or I could get ethereal resistance. What was in there? It was definitely an etheric phantom. Ooh, I might get this just to power up my attacks. Oh, a nightmare, huh? Insufficient Typhon material. <laughs> I was I was worried for a second that the Typhon or the the nightmare would be like in this room with them, but it's not. Uh, okay, how do I how do I get? How do you want me to get these turrets in there? Oh wait, there's a probably a lift, huh? Like you were saying earlier. Uh maybe. No, maybe not. How do they expect me to get that over there?
I got the power on. Chief, Rose here. I've covered Bay 1. Nothing. How solid is your source? Solid. Sweep the area again. Word is the smuggler is moving the contraband out during the next cycle. Maybe if you got me one of those fancy helmets from Psychotronics, that'll speed things up. Not funny. <laughs> Sorry. Sweep the area again and report back. Elazar out. Where's the lift? I didn't I didn't see a lift. I'll look again, but I, d I don't think I saw a lift out there. I mean, there was the ones, like the cargo ones, but not the actual... Oh, wait, hold on. I can see a terminal over there. Ah, I see. It's been so long since I've uh, taken damage, I sort of forgot you could take fall damage. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot there's traumas too. So if I if I'd fallen from a great height, it would have broken my legs. I guess that uh, that mod that makes it so I don't take a uh, certain amount of damage, or if I take a certain amount of damage, I can regenerate it or whatever helps. Just take this too. They don't need this one out here, right? Ah, yeah, I succeeded at evading the nightmare, who just couldn't get me. Because I was behind a locked door. <laughs> Thanks. I... I just didn't see it. <laughs> I checked, like, two or three times, and I just didn't notice it. I saw that there was a terminal there, but I just assumed it was the same as the other terminals that didn't really help me in any way. You know, you guys could be helping me with this. It's kind of a lot for one person to just run back and forth to pick up a single turret and then run back. We're kind of like, it's kind of like urgent. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, of course, the Nightmare. Yeah, I, I did great with the Nightmare. I deserve props for that one, but the Elevator, nah, not really. I'll take the loss on the Elevator. Uh, how many turrets do you reckon we'll need? You know what? I'm just gonna... I worry they're just gonna die if these turrets start trying to gun down Typhon. Because <laughs> they're, like, in such a bad location. Well, hopefully that medical operator is ready to go, because we're gonna need it after this. Uh, you're not gonna open that right now, are you? Hey, great. EATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Baby. Okay. Uh, let me check the room. Study what's here. Anything doubles up, know which one to shoot. All right. Hey, it's ready as I'll ever be. It's fine. There's, it's, you, Mom. there's probably no. See you in hell, Dad. Okay. okay all right. I, I need to go get another one. I know you're all kind of gearing up. You're like hyping yourselves up for this, but I need to, I need to grab another one, real quick. Kind of anticlimactic, but you know, I figure I have I have four, you know, and you don't want to die. Seems like a good idea to put forth the effort to set it up, you know. Deploying. Before sliding the door open, check your surroundings. Take a mental snapshot. You start seeing double of anything, be sure you know which target to shoot. 
You men ready? We only get one shot at this. Just move it out of the fire. I don't want it to blow up to the fire. I don't I don't imagine we'll need any of this. Damn PPNs. These small magazines are for civilians. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Let me just uh prepare my super thermal and uh Now that we are secure here, we can hold out indefinitely. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Yeah, all right. It's kind of um <laughs> kind of extremely easy. I always thought something was bound to go wrong, but I couldn't even have imagined this. Man, I didn't even need that many. I don't, I don't know how much work those turrets did. I wasn't really paying attention, but I just kind of Chucked in one fire blast and a couple of shotgun shells, and it was over. I mean, it was a, it was pretty cool, but like you know, it figure. I hate to keep bringing this up because it feels sort of like I'm bragging, but this is the hardest difficulty, and that was very easy. <laughs> so I think uh, I think maybe powers are a bit broken. Although I suppose that's kind of the point, really. If you can get enough neuromods to buff the heck out of yourself with psychic powers, you probably don't need to, you know, deal with the the difficult part. Oh. I probably shouldn't be like looting all the the bullets and stuff to these this group of survivors. I'm gonna do it. I just probably shouldn't be. If that nightmare had hung out a little bit longer, it might have been a little bit more of a challenge. But the nightmare left before I actually opened the doors. Oh, oh, this is a nice pod. I mean, that nightmare might have got in and, like, murdered, like, five people before I even got a chance to stop it. One of these times, there's going to be a Neuromod in here. Oh, that's just the same container. Did I already open this one too? No. Oh, hey. Christopher Smith. Neuromod. I don't, I don't know if I should open these doors yet. I don't want to, like, <laughs> preempt it and have, like, a, a bunch of enemies rush in here and murder everybody. I wonder if a nightmare can actually spawn in this area now, because it's supposed to be safe now, right? Now that I now that we've gotten rid of like the the typhon, they were, you know, a risk to everybody. Okay, just double check all the containers. I think I'm done. Nope, one more. That's everything. Uh, unless there's stuff on the tops of these, which there very well could be. I just kept coming. Was worried we'd run out of bullets. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I don't even think any of you even shot a single one. They were all dead. I'm... I guess I'm glad that they didn't decide to gun me down as soon as I used any of my powers, because I think maybe that would have been a bit more challenging if, like, I had to pretend not to be a super psychic alien juiced dude. Like, if I used my powers, they would just gun me down immediately. It would make it a lot more difficult. Oh, this is the person that got crushed. Can someone please explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Sorry, Dr. Berger. The system shut down. Some kind of fail-safe trigger? We're working on it. That parcel is extremely sensitive. I need it in psychotronics right away. I have a crew investigating the point of failure on our side as we speak. ETA is probably a few hours. A few hours? Isn't there anything else you can do? No. But since you have some time, you could call Mr. Yu and ask him for permission to reboot the entire space station. That would fix the problem immediately. That would be ridiculous. Well, since being ridiculous is off the table, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to wait. Oh, get his ass. Maybe I'll check into it myself. I've trained for microgravity. Knock yourself out. Unfortunately, one of these people is dead and the other one is not. Why, do I, why is that door separate? Okay, who am I talking to in here? More where that came from. Yeah. I don't think these PPN pistols are going to do the trick. Not much choice. It's already over. Nothing to report. And here I was thinking maybe Lady Luck had her back to us. Well, she did. But only so we could take in the sweet, glorious curves of her ass. <laughs> okay, guy. You know, if you ever wanted to work with my team when we get off this death trap, I'd consider it. You'd have to report to me, though. And I'm not as friendly as it may seem. Hey, so about getting off this death trap, um... Didn't realize how much I'd missed combat. You, you won't. And how much I didn't. Sorry. Hold on. Who am I missing? Still three unidentified crew members. Not going to lie, that felt good. Haven't seen that much action since the Middle East evacuation. Grant Lockwood is missing. Morgan, you saved our asses. Yeah. Now, you might want to get out there and see if you can save a few more. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. God, cut me some slack. I just killed like ten Typhon in a row. Here I am just looking around. I'm going to steal this and see if I get, get yelled at. No, okay, cool. God, these people, all they ever do is just ask, ask, ask. They can't just be like, hey, thanks for saving our lives and whatnot. It's almost like they know I'm about to blow them all up. Where am I even going? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm completely lost. Well, we probably follow the objectives. Huh? Well, there's two. That's unfortunate. Uh, all right, maybe this way. Nope, that door is closed. Why? Why won't you open the doors? I just need to get out. Like a rat. Like a rat trapped in a cage. Nice to see you. I, I thought we were dead for sure. Why? Too many people. Too much death. How did this all happen? It... Look, I've gathered all supplies I could find, and it took... It looks like we have enough food to hold up for several days, as long as we are rationing. Like, I just... I just I, 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 the amount of more? food I have just trashed that these people could, like, survive on... It is, it is staggering.
Still got a fire back here? Sure do. System alert. Why is it telling me to go back out into space? Trash that, trash that, trash that. This, these. <laughs> Who needs food, right? Uh, okay. And... Give me... Yes. Give me more Neuromods. Actually, I, oh god, I need to, I need to go back up there again. <laughs> I'm gonna, I need to chuck a grenade into the center of that bunch of Typhon goo, so that I can get as much, uh, as much exotic material as possible. Hey, nobody... Nobody come over here. Nice. stuff. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Okay. So, I need to go find what's his face's uh, yes, wife. for sure. Who was supposed to be in the crew quarters, but I I found everybody who was in crew quarters. And unfortunately, I didn't find her. Or if I did, she was already dead. Unless she was in the cafeteria, in which case I have saved a lot of them. How do I leave? <laughs> How do I get out of here? Please, let me leave. I guess I just have to, like, go back out into space to get out of here. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe down here? Can I, like, open that somehow? <laughs> Is there a terminal? Oh, a suit. Hello. Requesting new operator. Give me repairs. Transfer Do it. Okay. Where am I going to find a way out that isn't having to go outside? <laughs> She gave me access codes, but no key cards, so I can't do that. Do I really just have to go out into space again? Employee 1129. Okay. I knew I had to activate a tracking bracelet for somebody, but I didn't remember who. Kirk Remmer. Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess I just have to get out. Uh. Why is it? I don't understand why it's telling me to go that direction. I can't get through that. I have to go this way. One of these times, I'll 
figure it out. Probably just commit to a direction and then go that way would be the Microgravity best way to handle it. I, I remember there's a weaver out here. Morga, Mikhaila, I didn't think to check your transcribe. <clears throat> Not sure how you got here. I thought you left because... never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexis. I'm even through... The spots now. You were right. <clears throat> Even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> by cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock bomb. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... Well, just get here, alright? Sure. Why... Why are you suddenly contacting me out of nowhere? Um... Power control room. Sure, I gotta... I gotta enable and disable different missions. I have too many things active right now. Uh, I want to do this, but whatever. Um, I should locate that person. Power plant? Doesn't seem urgent. I don't really need to use this right now. Two more drop points I might as well have on, because whatever. Treasure hunt I would like to find, but that's not going to give me an indication of anything. Cole Hagen crew quarters. Disable that for now. Life support. So I need life support wherever they are. 1129 in deep storage. Is it going to let me? No, it's not going to let me into the Arboretum. It's locked. It's all locked. Right? That was the whole reason I had to come down here in the first place. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going back in here. Annoyed. Impatient. Frustrated. I'm going to try to figure out how to get out <laughs> from inside. Since I apparently have to unlock all the airlocks again. It's a nightmare hunting me. And it's in the room with them. How's that gonna work, I wonder? There are a lot of turrets in there, so they might be able to manage. Oh no, it's through this door. Okay, good. It's not it's not hunting them yet. Oh, I just Oh my are you kidding me? There's just a button! There's just a button. There's a big red button. It just opens the door. There's just a button to open the door this whole time. I just missed it. Hi. Not express to you how frustrated I am with myself for not realizing there was a button there. Okay, well, somebody died. Wait, is this life support? Where am I right now? I'm in life support. Okay, so apparently I was supposed to find that guy before he died. I was pretty pretty thorough about looking around this place. 
I'm kind of disappointed now. Somebody died. I was working hard to save everybody. But honestly, how how would I even have found the guy? I don't even know what mission that was. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be able to find it. But apparently there was like a time limit on it that I should have been paying attention to. Well, now i got to find his body. Where's the uh, security terminal? In here? I think. Not in here. Their name Rimmer, Rimner. Not here. So they must be in a. They must be from a different area. Kirk, right? Is my, am I not allowed to find him? Did it just take that back off? Is it because he's dead I'm not allowed to find where he's at? That's frustrating. Is he, is he actually dead or is he just missing? What's his employee ID number? Cargo bay, I think that was it? Or was it? Yeah. Cargo engineer in life support status unknown. Yeah, I'm just not allowed to know. What the hell is up with that? That's weird. I just got back here. Well, dang. Operator approach. Why do I need to go to the reactor control room? This might sound strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay. Especially considering... Well... Considering you intend to destroy the station. Yeah, you, you, you keep on harping on about that, January, but I don't brief. think I want to. You feel like a villain. I'm just like a, I'm just like vaguely annoyed that I let somebody die. I was putting off a mission for a long time. I don't even know if it was a mission. I was just putting off like finding somebody for a while. Now I'm kind of sad he's dead. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this thing? I have a thing for controlling air filtration. <laughs> have I gotten the key card to this yet? No. Ah. So many things. Did 
That's my main objective, right? That's my, is that my actual story mission? Is that why it's looking like that? Oh, it's reboot. Access the reactor control room without Alex's key, but I'm stuck down here. Rebooting the station reactor will remove the lockdown. Alex placed in the main lift and airlocks. Oh, okay. That's what I have to do. You can let me out? Thank you. I mean, it was bound to happen that I'd lose somebody eventually, but I was doing pretty well, I thought. So now I'm sad. <laughs> but oh well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Hold on a second. What's back here? Oh, this is the escape pods. I don't need to go there. And uh, just before I um, finish up with the power plant here, I think I need to end my stream because I just noticed it's almost been longer than expected. I know you didn't visit the reactor much. You're always locked away in your workshop. But I, guess I have to wait for this first. I can track you through your bracelet and guide you from here. Okay. Save. Save. <laughs> I didn't quite make it to uh, three and a half hours. No. I was I was very distracted. I think the only reason I even noticed is because I was so disappointed by losing that one person. I was like, oh man. And so I stopped like focusing on the game and then looked at the <laughs> looked at the, the number. Um it just like took me it just like broke my immersion briefly. So I like lost focus. Um anyway. So thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I appreciate you chatting and what uh what not. I uh probably be back tomorrow. Uh, I really need to get a handle on these streams. They're getting longer and longer each time. I can't let that happen. Gonna get out of hand. In like a month's time, I'm gonna be streaming eight hours in a day or something. At this rate. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. I'll be up to 24 hours and like... Phew, outrageous. Anyway, yeah, so appreciate it. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to do the same stuff. I don't know how close I am to beating it, but it feels like I'm getting pretty close. I've got my detonator key and stuff, so I imagine it'll only be like maybe two or three more streams at most. So I'll probably be looking for more games to play then. Um, but I'll worry about it when it comes around. So I'm off. Uh, if you end up coming to the VOD in the future, feel free to drop a follow. I'd appreciate it. You can catch me live and we can chat. And if not, no worries. But yeah, take care. Have a good one. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. Bye-bye.